What up guys, so I showed you guys recently in a previous video with the Galaxy Buzz Pro how you guys can actually walk through the application just showing you literally every single thing in the application and what it does. And so you guys asked me in that video, hey, can you do one with the Galaxy Buzz Live? So I said, you know what, why not? So that is what we're gonna do in this video. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so right out of the gate, the very first thing you guys are gonna see when you have your Galaxy Buzz Lives open, you're gonna just see this prompt here that's gonna allow you guys to be able to connect it up. So all you guys gotta do is just press on connect and just like that is going to connect your buzz live to your galaxy device so once we do that the next thing you guys are going to see is is going to see that it's actually connected up now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go into the actual samsung wearable app and then here is going to go ahead and connect them up or we may have to go in and actually add a new device so i'm going to go ahead and tap on add a new device and we're going to go ahead and select buzz live go ahead and tap on that gonna set it up boom 100 percent all right so once we pretty much have everything set up you guys are gonna see here that it is much different than what we saw with something like the galaxy buds pro now let's go ahead and talk about and walk through these features and we're gonna talk about that software update here in a second up here at the very top you guys are gonna be able to see your battery percentage you're gonna see the battery percentage of the actual buds themselves and then you're also gonna see a battery percentage of the case as well now if i were to remove both of these actually out of the case the first thing you're gonna see is it's gonna remove the actual case battery percentage to show her at the top and it's only going to show the actual buzz themselves so let's go ahead and just put one back in just so we can see it actually show up up top here now the next thing here is you're going to have is kind of like your notification area within this application so you're going to see here that we have an update which we're going to go ahead and do you can either view the update which is going to tell you guys a little bit more about it and some of the changes and so forth or you can just decline it and just kind of move on but i'm going to show you guys how to get back to it a little later in this video so next thing we have here is active noise cancellation now the buzz live are equipped with active noise cancellation so you do have that option to be able to toggle this on and off if you choose or you can actually do press and hold feature to be able to toggle that on and off as well which i'll show you guys how to do that here in a second now the next section we have here is the equalizer section this is where you guys are going to be able to change to the different modes based on what you guys would prefer now for me I personally recommend having it on dynamic mode. I just feel like dynamic mode is the best when it comes to stuff like this, but again, it's all to your own personal listening preferences, so just keep that in mind. Now, the next thing we have here is touch controls. Now, this is basically gonna be where you guys are gonna be able to set up how you guys want the touch controls to be on the actual buzz lives themselves. So I can either block the actual touches, meaning that if I'm actually tapping on them and if I have them in my ears, like so, let's say for example, I have it in my ears like so, I can actually block the actual touches and they won't actually accidentally skip to a new song or anything like that. The next thing we can do is we can actually change the touch and hold features on the left as well as the right earbud. So here, if I tap on this, you guys can see I have the active noise cancellation, also have big speed that I can activate, and then also have volume down, which is what I personally like to keep it set at. But it also has a feature where you can actually launch Spotify as well. With the active noise cancellation that I told you guys about earlier, this is where you guys actually Actually set this up at to whereas you can use touch and hold to actually toggle that on and off as well so we can also go into the right one and then the only difference that you're gonna see here is that volume up is always gonna be in the right one and volume down is always gonna be in the left one so let's go ahead and go back here the next thing we have is being able to read your notifications out loud this is where you guys are gonna be able to set up what you guys want the earbuds to be able to read to you when you are away from your device or if you even have your device in your hand the other thing that you can do with this is you can also toggle this to actually read aloud if you guys are still using your device it can still be able to read out those notifications to you even though you guys have your device in hand next thing we have is advanced section now this is going to be a section where you guys can use if you have if you like bixby you can actually turn this on and then it's basically going to allow you guys to use the wake up word hey bixby and then it's going to activate on your device very similar to what we see with Apple with Hey Siri. The next thing we have is the seamless earbud connection. Now this is going to be where you guys going to definitely want to turn this on because it's going to allow you guys to seamlessly connect your earbuds to your devices, well as the Galaxy tablet or if it's your Galaxy devices, it's going to easily be able to seamlessly connect between those devices. So I highly recommend you guys keep this turned on. Now the next thing we have is Labs. Now this is where it's going to be more so with the gaming mode and the there's also a new mode with this that we didn't see with something like the Galaxy Buzz Pro is a relieve 
pressure with ambient sound. So let's go ahead and start with the gaming mode. Now with the gaming mode, if we turn this on, which I highly recommend you guys keep this on, it's gonna allow you guys to have low latency when it comes to gaming on your mobile devices or even gaming on your tablet. So highly recommend you guys keep this feature on. So the next feature that we have is the relief pressure with ambient sound. Now, this is something that I recommend you guys turn on because with these style earbuds, it does give you the sense of there's pressure actually on your ears. So for me, this is a feature I would highly recommend you guys keep on if you are starting to feel that pressure within your ears, just based on the actual open ear design that these give you. Next thing we have is find my earbuds. So this is gonna be a feature that you guys can use here if you guys wanna be able to ring your earbuds, you guys can do that as well. I can just press start right here and then it's gonna go ahead and send a ch chirping noise as you guys can hear right here. Now, the next thing we have is general. This is gonna allow you guys to be able to reset your earbuds back to factory settings. The next thing we have here is the earbud software update. Now, I talked about this earlier in the video as we saw this up here at the top as well. So if I was to click on view update from here, it's gonna take me right to it. Or if I was actually scroll down and I click on earbuds uh, software update, I have to tap into it and it's gonna take me to that screen here. And then within here, it's gonna show me exactly what new features are actually coming. We're gonna go ahead and do this update. So while it's going ahead and doing that update, I'll go ahead and talk about the last two tips and user manual. This is just gonna allow you guys to be able to see exactly how to actually use them. Now it's really good with this application because with these style actual earbuds that you guys seeing right here, it is. It does take some getting used to just because of the touch features. They kind of, you gotta be really spot on with them. So this here is just gonna allow you guys to be able to practice those, uh, you know, before you guys actually use them within a real world usage. And then you also get the user manual here at the very bottom if you tap on that as well. Now the last thing but not least is we have our Galaxy Buds Live. Now here I can actually go in and I can change the name of whatever I want my earbuds to be. So go ahead and do that and I just tap on rename and now they're called Live dark night now I also just did a video where i showed you guys the exact same things with the galaxy buzz pro but there's some features in the pro that's not in the actual lives and that menu actually looks different within this application so if you guys want to check that out that video starts right now so i see a lot of you guys out there are just not getting your galaxy buzz pro for the first time so i figured what better time than right now to show you guys how to actually use them walking you guys through the application as well as showing you guys a little bit of tips and tricks along the way so without further ado let's go ahead and hop right into it so first thing right out of the gate you guys are going to want to do is is you got your Galaxy device, right? So you wanna go ahead and just open up the case. And what you're gonna see is a prompt that's gonna show right up here on your screen. Now, of course, I've already got mine connected. You just click connect and you're gonna be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these into my ears like so. And I'm just gonna leave one out because I wanna show you guys one thing real quick. Now, now as soon as you guys actually get into the application, the first thing you guys are gonna be greeted with, you're gonna be greeted with your battery percentages are gonna be located at the top. So on the right hand side, it's gonna show you guys the battery percentage of your case. And on the left hand side is the actual buds themselves. Now, it's only gonna show the case if you have at least one earbud actually inside of your case at a time. So if I go ahead and take out the last one, put into my ears, you guys can see here, it actually removes the battery percentage for the case on the actual phone in itself. So also at the top here, you guys can see I've actually renamed what my Galaxy Buzz Pro are actually called, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do that a little later in this video, so stick around for that. But uh, if I go ahead and tap on the little ellipsis tool here, we're gonna go ahead and see if I have other Galaxy Buzz that are connected up to here, as well as I can go in and I can add a device. So if you have a uh, Galaxy Watch, Galaxy Buzz Pro, any of that type of stuff, you can go ahead and add it in that menu right here on the left hand side. Now let's go ahead and move on down here to the kind of mid section here that we have. We have noise control. So this is where you guys are going to be able to toggle your active noise cancellation as well as to be going into off mode, which is going to be more of like a passive noise cancellation. And then you also have ambient mode. So let's go ahead and start with active noise cancellation since that is kind of one of the newer features that we're seeing on the Galaxy Buzz Pro in itself. So right out of the gate here, we see we have a high as well as a low mode. So here, you guys are gonna be able to switch and toggle between a high or a low. Now for me, I personally recommend if you guys are using ANC, it's like if they give you a high mode, then why not actually use the high mode? 
You get what I'm saying? So, but anyway, if you guys want to switch to the low mode, you have that option to do so as well. Now, the other option you get is you can just turn it off and this is going to put it more in a passive state. So this is where it's just going to be whatever the in-ear seal that you guys have, that is the noise cancellation you guys are going to receive. And there's not going to be anything adjusting based on the surrounding area that you guys are in. So you also have last here under noise controls, you have ambient sound. Ambient sound is going to allow you guys to be able to pass through a lot of the outside noise into your ear canals through the speakers that are on the actual earbuds themselves. So here you can actually toggle how much noise you guys actually want to be able to let in.